Welcome to Complexity Made Simple. My name is Paul Allen and the subject of today's newsletter is the measure phase of the Demaic cycle. So now we've moved to the measure step. Now it's quite possible that you've already done some work in this area as part of the defined phase of your project because of course in order to define what the hell's going on what's the current defect rate, what's the current problem, what's my current cost of poor quality you probably had to do some measurement in order to do that so you may have already done some good work in this area so what might this entail? well the one we're talking about it could be number one it could be set up data collection and effectively what that's doing is it's setting up your measure of success okay now why might you need to do this why might, might you need to set up a measure well it could be that the, the place that the problem got spotted is not the point of activity so it could be end of line test so you might do an end of line test problem has been picked up and it's been decided that the problem was way way up the process and currently we don't measure for whatever it is that's um, causing the problem could be that the customers picked it up you know by the way the worst place let your customers inspect your mistakes it's the worst most expensive place you can put your your inspection process by the way but then it could be that you don't currently look for it so it's something that's come up it's not something that you look for you have to set a measure up and then of course you have to decide how much of a problem this is now this would have got done of course really it would have got de done in the define phase so it's back to what I've said before that the define measure analyze improvement control isn't really linear okay because you just got to do good work in the five areas because it doesn't make any sense for it to be linear because really you have to measure before you can define um, so okay that could be one of the things you're doing let's say you already have a measurement set up well what's one of the things you want to be doing at the measurement phase well one of the things you might want to generate some graphs or some pictures which you don't currently do so what you might have currently is just data and of course what we want to do turn this into pictures let's make it let's make it visual so we can see what's going on again this may have happened in the define phase because you want to see whether you have a problem with signal or noise only way to see that is with some is with some pictures okay what else well let's say you have the measure set up it was already there you already have the graphs and the things that's how the problem was identified in the first place and you know what you're going to do next well one of the things you need to do now is to validate you need to validate the accuracy of the measure now what this might mean it might mean that you have to do an MSA it might mean you have to do a measurement system analysis and of course if the MSA tells you you've got a problem then job one is to fix that problem because if you can't measure it properly you can't do the project but even where you don't have to do <coughs> excuse me where you don't have to do an MSA you have to validate the accuracy of the data so sometimes so for instance I did a project which was on um, days late uh, we ordered the product when the goods came in 
we had a date received against a date that we expected it. We took one from the other and I knew whether I was late, early or on time. I don't need to do an MSA to validate that the computer can take one date away from the other. But what I did have in my data set, I had spurious results. I had goods that were ordered as samples and the delivery date really didn't mean anything in terms of production uh, parts being delivered. So I had to take that data out of my data set. So you should always validate the accuracy and the validity of your data set. You should always validate your measurement system. An MSA, if an MSA is appropriate, but validate the system regardless. And to be honest, once you've done that, and also you know, put the put the problem right if you found a problem with the MSA, you're ready to move on. You've now done define and measure. You're ready to go on to analyze, improve, and control. If you'd like to know more about any of the concepts covered in this video or any of the other concepts covered in my uh, my other tutorial videos, then here's my latest book. Drink tea and read the paper. Covers everything you need to know about how to make sure that Six Sigma becomes world class engineering in your company. Otherwise, if you'd like to get in touch with me, a little bit of help about Lean, a little bit of help with Six Sigma, please contact me on the email below.